we come to the monastery to step out of our ordinary responsibilities so they don't weigh so heavily on us, gives the mind some space to be itself, to get a good look at itself, to see what's going on inside. And all too often we don't like what we see, and so we try to find more ways of running away. But you have to be able to take a stand, and this is one of the reasons why we focus on the breath. It gives you a good place to stay when you're facing your defilements, your greed, your aversion, your delusion, your fear, your sorrow. And you're not totally overwhelmed by them. So the more firmly you can get planted in the breath, the more solid you can be in the face of other currents either inside your mind or coming from outside in the world. You have to be able to stand firm here. So think of your awareness going deep down into the body, your breath going deep down into the body. And don't let anybody take your place. And John Cha gives the example of having a house where there's one seat, and you want to occupy that seat, because the person sitting in the seat is the one who's in charge. Then the other defilements come, and they don't have any place to sit, so they have to leave. If you let them sit in the seat, okay, then you're the one who gets ordered around. So this is the seat, right here, filling the body with your breath, filling the body with your awareness. And don't let anything else come in and push you out. Our problem is that we're ready to jump out at the slightest provocation. This looks good, that sounds interesting, we could just go all after all kinds of things, not realizing that we've lost our position of authority when we do so. So come back in. Stay right here. This is your place of security. The better you know the breath, the more firmly you can be here. This is why it takes time, but it's time well spent. You want to be in charge of your thoughts. You don't want them to be in charge of you, because you don't know where they're coming from. Sometimes they're past karma, good or bad. Sometimes you picked up ideas from other people. You don't know who they are. You can't remember who they are. And just because something comes through your head doesn't mean that you have to act on it. But that you have to believe it. You want to put yourself in a position where you can examine these things before you follow them. And when you're the examiner, when you're in a solid position, okay, you're in charge. If you're not in charge of your own mind, what can you control? So make sure that you've got this part of your awareness under control and everything else will follow. <laughs>